say hi. Look how say hi. Wave, wave, wave. You're not gonna do it. Do what? So, I'm Chris, and my speech is about something very near and dear to my heart. It's, it's about uh, my singing monsters. I don't know if you guys heard about this game or not. So let me tell you a little bit more about this. So the game itself is a children's game, mainly to teach kids music or and the main audience is like young kids, probably uh, around six to 13, that's the age range. I don't know, many people in the school you know, play it on a regular basis. All right, so the creators of the game, they make lessons that they send to kindergarten schools and preschools to teach kids about music. And they also have games. They're two separate things. The lessons are definitely educational and the, uh, the game, mainly just for fun, distract kids and whatnot. So in the game, there are many different islands. Some of the important ones are Composer Island, and the rest of them are basically almost identical, except for the sounds. So the Composer Island is where kids can choose notes for different monsters, and <laughs> sorry, they can choose different notes and make entirely like entire songs. And the other ones are where you can put down monsters, and they all make a preset sound song and as, as you put more you unlock more sounds and the whole all the music starts to blend together and you get a cool song the set composer's island this is what it looks like right here and you set down all these monsters that you you buy with in-game currency which you can buy for microtransactions I know someone in here has spent over $300 on that but uh, And the normal islands, this is what they look at, look like right down here. That's what it looks like empty. So the monsters. There are a whole bunch of different types of monsters, right? Here are just a few. So all the monsters, they're unique. They make their own sounds, they're they're uh their own notes, their own songs. So here in the Composer Island, this is what it looks like when you're when you're actually making the song. These are the notes. See, they're putting it high and they're dragging it out. So here are some of the most famous monsters. We got the fur fur current fur corn. Sorry, mammoth and the Wubbucks. So these guys, sorry, uh, these guys. So they're all, anyone who's ever seen the game would recognize one of these. And all these are special in their own sense. This is one of the first ones you unlock. And his sound is very unique, to say the least. I was gonna, I was gonna do it vocally here, but I feel like that'd be really embarrassing, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> and that's the fur corn up there. That guy was, that guy was really famous because he makes a, a weird sound, funny like a song. And that, guy, and that one is the love <laughs> and. Basically what he does is scream really loudly. Uh, so 
Next, we're going to evaluate the impact, the positive impact this has, uh, this has left on the Western world, you know. Very influential. So over, over 2,150,000 players are active on My Singing Monsters every day. Thank you. Um, so, so uh, the impact left on these people is immeasurable. They're, they're, uh, the rating on the App Store is a good 4.9. And on Steam, it's mostly positive. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so in conclusion, I went over the game itself, the monsters, and, and the islands. Thank you. Ryan was like dying for you. In the, in the video. Brian?